Virginia Mentoring Partnership is a nonprofit founded in 1993, and we promote effective youth mentoring across the Commonwealth. We provide services to mentoring program staff and to individual volunteer mentors who go on to mentor youth. We help develop new programs in areas of high need, increase the capacity of programs. We try to engage stakeholders at all levels to get more involved in mentoring, and we try to leverage resources through public awareness and advocacy to support investment in mentoring. Students want to succeed. Mentors want to see students succeed. Their programs, whether it's a Big Brothers, Big Sisters, or a church organization, wants to see the mentors succeed. And Virginia Mentoring Partnership wants to see the program succeed. So we try to connect the research, so what all of the researchers around the country are saying about what works in mentoring, with the practice. So we try to do that by consultation and training educational resources because quality mentoring is better than just mentoring. So we want to try to make sure that when mentoring is happening, it's being done well. We started Quality Based Membership, or QBM, in 2013 with four programs. It's a rigorous and focused process for mentoring program staff to really look at their program practices, those related to mentoring and then also those practices related to general organizational health and to, to look at them closely and to take the time with co customized support from a staff member at Virginia Mentoring Partnership to really make some enhancements and improvements to their program practices. QBM for us has been a way to um, you know, evaluate where we are currently and also trace over time how I've come to this point. I think for us personally, a lot of things that QBM has forced us to do are things that have been on my to-do list for 10 plus years, and QBM has provided the framework for us to, um, one, make time to put a lot of these policies into place, and secondly, to provide the support that we need to, to really get these policies um, drafted. Going through the QBM process has allowed us to kind of take a step back and look at what we're doing because anytime that you do something for 20 years you can get comfortable and so this has been a chance to go back and say do we need to do more with training? Do we need to do more with math support? Do we need to do a better, uh, better job of asking our mentors how, how is it going and what can we do to help you? It's interesting to see where the holes are. You know, you don't really get a chance to see that when you're looking at the big picture, but to come in and say, you know, that there's a list of basics. How many of these things do you actually, you know, and then it's like, oh wait, so we probably could do that, we haven't. Even with a national organization like ours, there's still things that may slip, and so it was just really nice to be able to say, this is a really detailed list, it's all there, and I can kind of check myself off from there. So for a program to grow to excellent, uh, it needs to assess itself against its purpose, um, its resources, and the needs in the community. Uh, and then it needs some help shoring itself up. Virginia Mentoring Partnership helps us align our practices with best practices and making sure that we're not just mentoring youth, but that we're providing our youth who are being mentored and our mentors the best experience possible. Every child deserves to grow up with a mentor, an adult mentor, someone to look up to and aspire to be like. Um, I think that's just a right for every child to have. We're looking for mentors who want to, one, commit and be consistent. And then we're also looking for people who want to actually have a genuine impact on the lives of the young people, especially with the academic focus. It's mentoring that makes a difference. So we're not interested in numbers, we are interested in making a, a measurable change in a child's life. And that could be academics or behavior or attendance, but really it's a quality of life. It's kids that were disconnected that are now connected. There's a vision here, um, and that is that communities and schools are healthy places. There are people from across the community, in a school, caring for students, caring for teachers, caring for schools, and the quality of our education system will go up. It is, uh, will be a major economic boon, major societal boon, and most importantly, uh, a boon in the spirit of a community and our children.